Hey, Salt Wine Club, Sean here, and I'm going to take you through a tasting of the 2018 Louis Michel Fee Village Level Chablis that you have in your May 2021 Salt Wine Club box. Now, I know that there's going to be at least one person out there that says, I don't like Chardonnay. And that's fine. I understand. But, in my experience, when someone says they don't like Chardonnay, usually what they're referring to is oak. Now, Louis Michel has basically based their whole winemaking principle on not using oak. They only use stainless steel. They do everything in stainless steel tanks. Uh, it is very controlled in terms of the amount of oxygen that the wine is getting uh, and no oak flavor. So very steely, very minerally, very clean, crisp, refreshing. Now, for those people that say, I don't like Chardonnay, I challenge you, taste this. If you don't like this, then like I said, it's possible that you don't like Chardonnay, but in my experience, more often than not, it's the oak that you don't like, which is totally understandable. It is a strong component of a lot of fuller bodied white wines, and it's not everybody's piece of cake. So this is just a beautiful, clean, bright, easy drinking, refreshing, and complex white wine. There's Meyer lemon, there's green apple, there's a peachy note to it. There's crushed white stones. Chablis, the village, uh, and the area surrounding it are basically on a bed of ancient seabed, an ancient limestone escarpment. Uh, it's called Kimmeridgian. And that limestone gives this beautiful chalky note to Chablis. Uh, you find it in, in Champagne as well. You find it in the south of England. It's actually the same chalk that the cliffs of Dover are made of. It kind of stretches all the way across that northern part of Central Europe. I've talked a little bit in previous videos about decanting red wine, but would you ever decant a white wine? Well, yeah, absolutely. White wine is wine just like red so it's still going to benefit from a little bit of additional oxygen a little bit of air the thing you have to be careful of is temperature uh, but with a wine like this it's okay if it comes up a little bit and you don't want this wine served too cold i dare say that i'm even drinking it a little bit too cold right now and as it starts to warm up in the glass you can always just put your hands on the bottom of the glass like this give it a little bit of a swirl it'll bring the temperature up a degree or so and it'll help release some of those aromas. When a wine's too cold, it's muted. It's, it's, you won't taste anything really. I love the finish on this because like I said, it's refreshing, it's bright, but it's salty mineral peanut shell, um, Sometimes people will use the, the expression beer foam, which is talking kind of in a tongue in cheek way about the lees, about the, the yeast, the dead yeast cells that they stir up in the tank to give texture and, and weight and definition to the wine without adding a whole lot of um, richness. It's May, so spot prawn season is starting in just a couple of weeks. Chablis and spot prawns are a match made in heaven, especially if you don't mind the actual like sweetness of the of the head and the inside of the shell, the kind of peachy note, the ripeness of this vintage in Chablis in 2018 makes it very approachable, makes it really drinkable right now. Uh, so yeah, go grab some spot prawns. I would love to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments or post pictures on your social media, Instagram, Facebook, tag some wine club. Uh, we can, we can talk about this wine all day. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.